Welcome back to the Angular 9 tutorial. Today, we will try to make an easy understanding of Angular components by the examples. The Angular components is one of the basic building blocks of the Angular app. Before jump to the example, we will show you a basic knowledge of the Angular components in the beginning subtitles. The following tools, frameworks, and modules are required for this tutorial. Node.js, Angular 9, Angular CLI, Terminal or Node command line, Text Editor, or IDE. We are using Visual Studio Code. Before going to main subtitles, we need to make sure that you have installed Node.js and npm by type these commands in the terminal or Node command line. What is Angular Components? Angular Components is an Angular directive that has its own view or templates independently. Angular Components has access to all the directive API, e.g. ng-model, ng-class, ng-if, ng-4, etc. that provided by Angular and still have a host elements can still define input and output properties and so on. They also can define their own content. Angular Components is closely tied to the contents of its templates. Angular Components provides the data and logic that will be used by the data bindings that are applied to the HTML elements in the template, which provide the context used to evaluate data binding expressions and act as the glue between the directives and the rest of the application. Angular Components is also a useful Angular part in allowing large Angular projects to be modularized or into manageable parts. And here so we describe an Angular components. First, Angular components can register or determine their own templates or HTML styles and configuration metadata that determines how the components should be processed, instantiated, and used at runtime. Second, template or HTML can bind in property and function provided by components, for example, variable, function, etc. Third, the components can a binding event that comes from the template. For example, Angular directives such as ng-model, ng-clicks, ng-onchange, ng-class, etc. To use Angular component, just use add components decorator before the current class name. The Angular add components decorator is applied to a TypeScript class which is registered in the main Angular application module. Here's the Angular components look like. That examples use the templates and style in the same file on the components. Writing a new Angular 9 app. As usual, to make easier understanding is practicing the Angular components in a full Angular 9 app. We will create an Angular 9 app using Angular CLI. Make sure you have installed the Angular CLI by type these commands in the terminal or nodes command line. Now we have an Angular CLI version 907 in your terminal or node environment. Next, create a new Angular 9 app inside your Angular application folder. For now, leave all questions as default by press Enter key. Next, go to the newly created Angular 9 application, then open it with your text editor or IDE. To use VS Code, just type these commands 
in this new Angular 9 app folder. Now, the new Angular 9 app is ready to develop. Next, open the SRC app app component TS to see the basic generated root component. As you see, the above generated root components have a spread template file and the style file. The selector app root is the initial Angular directive that used to make this component as a starting component when this Angular apps run. This directive used in the SRC index. HTML. Also, it has an app component spec TS in the same directory that uses as the test unit for these Angular components. Creating a new component. We can create a new component manually and using Angular CLI schematics to generate components. Starting to create a new component manually by creating a new folder. Inside this RLC app folder with the folder names similar to component names to make it easier to manage. Next, create the TypeScript file inside that folder. To make a separate template and style, make the new files with HTML and CSS extensions on the same folder as the TypeScript file. You also can create the test unit file for this component in the same folder. Next, open and edit its RC app cell sales component CS, then add these lines of TypeScript code. As you see, the class name has a fix component and add components that indicate this is an Angular components class. It has the directive selector app dash shells that can use to access these components. It uses separate template and style files. Additionally, we add the Angular components lifecycle and geonet function as implemented in a class name and a constructor that injectable for other modules that we use in this component. Next, we will put variables and functions to these Angular components as this string and number dates variable at the top of the class body. Add the simple functions after the Angular and GeoNinit function. That functions required the data pipe module. For that, add built in Angular data pipe module. Import and inject it to the constructor. Call that function inside engine in it to make it always phrase. Next, open and edit its RC app cell sales component HTML. Then add these lines of HTML tags and binding Angular variables. Next, open and edit is RC app cell cells component CSS. 
then add these lines of CSS codes that previously declared in HTML. Next, open and edit its RC app, cell, cells, components, spec TS, and add these lines of TypeScript codes that contain simple test unit scripts for the cells component. Next, register this new components and that pipe module by open and edit its RC app, app module TS. Then add this import. Add that component to engine model declarations and add pipe to engine model providers. Now the new manually created Angular component is ready to use. You can check these new components by adding to the app component HTML or to make this component as the starting component in app model TS, change engine model bootstrap to this. Then open and edit its RC index HTML, then change app dash root tags to this. Run this Angular 9 app to see the changes. And this is the starting components template preview. The easiest and quick way to create or generate an Angular component is using Angular CLI. Just type these commands in the terminal or not command line, or in the VS Code terminal. Now we have item components with a separate template, styles, and test unit. Also, it's registered automatically in app module TS. So you just fill this component with logics, view, and style. Next, we will make the app component HTML as the starting points of these applications by turning it back to the preview state. And then we'll replace all the default app component HTML with this. Add a little style for this root component. Binding components properties in a template. An Angular components template can contain the variety of data bindings and target any of the built-in or custom directives that have been registered in the app module TS, the component class has the mechanisms to evaluate the data binding expressions in its templates and it's isolated from the other components. So you don't have to worry about variable or property name will conflict with the other components properties. Actually, in a previous example, there's already the properties and binding in the templates. But for now, we will create again the various properties such as string, number, date, and array. Open and edit is RC app item, item component TS, then add these lines of properties or variables. Like the previous example, we use again that pipe for that, add this import of that pipe. Inject that pipe to the constructor. Next, we will bind those required properties in the template. Open and edit is RLC app item item component HTML, then replace all HTML tags with this. As you see, data binding in the title, subtitle, and table row, we put within Angular 9 currency pipe in the item price and total price. Next, open and edit is RC app item item component CSS, then add style for rest above template. Now the template shows a table like this.
binding user actions from template to component. There are various ways to binding user actions from the template to the component. They can be a click, change, and select actions or DOM events of the entering input text. Let's start with the simple click action from a button. Still on item component HTML, add these lines of HTML tag after H3 tag. Next, back to its RC app item item component TS, then add this function. When this Angular 9 app runs, you can click the Refresh Date button and it will trigger the update date functions in the components. Then you will see the time of the date changes as the actual time in your computer. Another example binding click to the components functions or method is added clicks action to the table row. In the item component TS, add these functions or method to bind the selected item from the table in the template. These functions will show an alert that contains the selected items. Next, to implementing DOM events, we will use the table and most offer events to add this most offer to the table row and add a new HTML tag to show the selected tags in the table. In the item component TS, add this property and function to respond to the binding event from the most offer DOM event. The response will show selected takes from the column that offered by the mouse pointer. Now, with the mouse over the columns on the table, the P takes will show the selected column takes. Component lifecycle hooks examples. As you find on every front end framework, there are the lifecycle hooks of the components that checks when the page in it load, change, close, or destroy. For these examples, we will create the components for each lifecycle hooks. Type these commands to create them. ng on init example ng on changes example In this example, we are using input with is part of Angular Forms module. For that, add the Angular Forms for this example in app module TS.
Then add this Angular Forms module imports to the imports. And do checks example. Any of the content check it example. Don't forget to add imports and ng model declaration in app module TS. In the other content in it example. Don't forget to add import and ng module declarations in app module TS. And the other few text example. Don't forget to add import and ng module declarations in app module TS. In the other few in it example. Don't forget to add import and ng module declaration to the app module TS. ng on this raw example. Add all Angular lifecycle to the app component HTML. Communication between components. In Angular 9, components can communicate or share data between them. Communication or shared data can use input binding. If an emitter or communicates via a service. As usual, you will learn this component's communication by examples. Before going to the examples, we need to generate the required components and a service will type these commands. Pass data between components using input binding. Intercept input property changes. In this example, the input will be intercepted by setting the property to other things when it's empty or blank space. Send and receive events using event emitter. Component communication via service. Add all of these examples to the app component HTML. Dynamic components loader example.
In some cases, we need to load our components dynamically depends on the application requirements in the runtime. For that, we will use Angular 9 Components Factory Resolver to add and load components dynamically. Angular comes with its own API for loading components dynamically. For this example, we will create a dynamic discount place that embeds the components. The first step is to create a directive that acts as the anchor points where to insert the components. Save this command to generate it. Open and edit that file, then replace all TypeScript codes with this Angular Few Container Ref module. Create an interface file, is rc add this component TLs. That specific component data type, then add these lines of TypeScript codes. Create an Angular class, is rc app this item TLs that only inject the Angular type and data as any type, then add these lines of TypeScript file. Generate a new Angular component that holds the Dynamics component templates. Generate components that we use as a template for the Discord Plus. Next, generate a service that populates the data. Next, open and edit is RC app app module TLs, then add this import. Add that import to the ng module providers. Add the entry components in ng modules array that contains these components. Next, we will show you the Dynamics components to the new components but generate it first. As usual, we need to add this example to the app component HTML. Styling components as a default, the Angular 9 app is styled with standard CSS3, but you can choose the CSS preprocessors like SAS, SCSS, or LACE. For the generated components, they are a separate file for CSS in the same folder with TypeScript and template HTML file. If you are creating the components from scratch, you can define separate SCSS file or inside components metadata. For example, we will create a TypeScript file for the components src app styles component ts, then add these lines of TypeScript codes. For an example of the style that loads the external CSS file, you can refer to the previous examples. One of them is its RC app new price new price component CS. And its RC app new price new price component CSS. Also, you can put the style in line with the templates, modify the previous example, its RC app styled component CS with this. You can use CSS using link text too. Here's an example of using Bootstrap CSS the load form CDN. Finally, we can wrap our Angular 9 components together in one page of this Angular 9 application by register. That is, the examples of the Angular 9 components. You can find the article and full source codes links in the description below. If you think this tutorial is useful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.